All right, I'm a bit late. We're starting some live arena. <laughs> Gotta get going. I think I have this sound muted too. I'll have to fix it after this. But uh, it's been a few days. I had a birthday and I kept really busy with a lot of different things. So now we're back. I still refuse, refuse to play Armands. I'm just trying. I did build some new champions though. We'll definitely try to get them in here. I built Versulflagrim. And my best HP nuker gear, and I don't know if he's really going to make it in much. And I believe, I'm not 100%, but I believe I had rebuilt Valkyrie. I'm not sure. I think I did. I think she's in protection gear now. So Armand and Wukong, okay. He's not in stone skin or anything, so he's not really good here. Ever self pick. Unless I'm going to ban him and then he could be useful. Uh, I'll go ahead and go Yumiko, and do my own Wukong, or do I want to do... Let's not be a coward. Let's pick Rhonda. Let's not be a coward. Come on. Pick Rhonda for the Wukong. Let's go. I ain't scared to pick her. I ain't scared to pick someone who's not in stone skin. I have a love scared. <laughs> She's going to be a freaking one-shot. Um, I really would like to try and pick for assault, but it's just already not great here. Arbiter and, uh, Duchess. So I definitely don't feel the need to ban anything except for Armand's. Pretty squishy team over there. Hmm. A team like that without much protection is so susceptible to Rodos for sure. And then what do I want to do here? I want to do UDK, or do I want to do Haruma as well? I'll do UDK. All right. This is a team comp, but this, these specific five champions, I don't think I've ever picked together. Let's see how this goes. Apologies for the muted sound. I forgot. I don't have a ton of time, so I'm trying to get through this. I should be able to get all 10. Oh, I need to keep up with this so I can get the medals. I really need the medals for Curse City. It's so hard for me still, man. I'm really struggling. Okay. Pretty modest team from the enemy. Not bad, though. No insane mythicals or anything. I'm trying to end. Wukong kind of gets stuffed by UDK. Interesting. want to do... I probably don't need the accuracy... I'll take the defense, or do I want to take the attack? I'll take the defense. Oh, my team's not tanky. I'll take the attack. So I have Rodos in Stone Skin and Wukong, or sorry, uh, UDK in Stone Skin and Yumiko in Stone Skin. And I don't think even with the Arbiter Turn Meter boost that he's going first, so. Should just disable all their skills here, yeah. So they can't even kill Rhonda. Nice. It'll still be disabled when the the veil wears off too. Wow, well, that did a lot of damage. Oh, it doesn't really matter. So Rhonda can't, yeah, they can't kill Rodos when their turn, their skills are disabled. Even turn just two hit, it's only gonna hit him once. Okay. Resisted. Okay, three percent. I guess that happens on occasion. All right, it should be over. Really? Wait, really? Wow. That didn't... Oh, I guess Trina does have really high base HP. That's my bad. I should have done A2. How, why did I not do A2? I was hoping to get an extra turn. And kill her. Oh. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, yeah. 
I like the band. That was a good idea by him. Well played, sir. I still think I should have won that if I had played that better. However, it's not like that fight was lost by any means. The Ronda pick, dude. <laughs> it did lose me the fight because if that was any other nuker <laughs> that has stone skin or some kind of protection inbuilt, we win, right? Like, we just win. We just do. <laughs> uh, let's switch it up. Let's do something different. We're doing a lot of the same stuff first. Let's go with a uh, Harima. Let's go with a Harima. Maybe we'll do a Nisrala as well or something. Baron. Okay, he's already countered by Harima. You love to see it. I might go triple nuker. I'm gonna pick this uh, Torment Land. That would give him so much time to react with a. With a different... We, we, so we know what? We're going to really be pressuring his bands with the Harima pick. Because he's already got... He's already countered himself hard. We're already pressuring his bands. We should put some other really high pressure champs in here. So this is like a perfect time. As much as I don't like the champion. Perfect time for the Armands. Because that forces him either to let me have Armands. Or to run Baron into Harima. So. I could have also done Yuko. I think Armands is definitely going to get more pressure though. Okay, Tormin and Wukong, okay. Could go Pytheon. Yeah, Pytheon's better here. All right, so that's my three supports. And then what do I want to do last? Uh, Roto seems really good here. Okay, so we're switching up again. Sifi. Um... Sure, I'll ban Sifi. Yes. Should be a pretty easy... Yeah, that's exactly what I uh, wanted to do there. Should be a pretty easy dub. Let's get Baron and Wukong into Harima. And my Rotus is in stone skin. And he should just instantly win the fight. When he gets a turn. <clears throat> I wonder if this even kills Harima. Hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, I have Pytheon, though. It's not over. I'll do that. Why did he... Wait, what did he do? He tried to... I guess I could have got frozen by Tormen. Didn't think that one's gonna die. Well, he already used Z2, so. All right, that's good, because I'll die on his turn. It's perfect, it delays them by the most possible. Perfect. All right. Does he have a day two again? Oh, geez. The torment actually removing the stone skin. Got him that fight. I wonder if we should have. We definitely should have done stuff differently too. I, okay, I need to like. I have. I don't think things through enough. I've lost a, two fights now that I totally should have won. Like, easily should have won. Definitely. Okay. All right. Go Yumiko and let's see. Let's do Wukong. I haven't picked him yet today. Dang man, <laughs> trolling so hard. <laughs> Dang man. Dang. 
Get it together. And I lost such easy fights. Oh my gosh, this is gonna probably be my like my worst win rate ever video. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop experimenting so much right now and try to bring it back. I am having fun and you know I don't mind trying different things, but losing f fights that should be like obvious easy wins is just nonsense. Okay. I don't really know what I'm looking at here. So you can't pick UDK, so we can go Rodos. Have a flex spot at the last spot. I guess he wants to go Cupid is Venus, but my nukers are great against that. Wait, does the sound still not on? No, my, my, even though I turned my speaker on, it didn't turn on. I'm going to try hard the next eight fights and see if we can still go eight and two. If this guy would pick his pick. <laughs> what? What the frick? He picked one nuker. Okay. Just hoping Armands gets there, but he's, I mean, brother, it ain't happening. He's not gonna get a, an ability off. No, oh, maybe. Got the whatever it's called. Bolster. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and swing into it. There we go. Okay. Okay. Well, I think this fight's over. Really? Really? I guess I didn't proc Helm Smasher. Why does he still have Stone Skin? Is that a bug? Yeah. Could have actually lost that one. Probably should have just banned Armand's. Or picked another. Well, no. Yeah. I'm definitely not using my time as best I could. I definitely gotta think things through more. Okay. Alright. Very good. Okay, well, he has no actual fast champions, so. And I'll go Rhonda. Wait, do I actually want to do this? Hold on. This is a poor lockout. I don't think I, I'm, ban I'm banning him. I don't think I care that much about that. Or no, you, uh, yeah, no, I'm banning him. 
Oh, my neck. This is probably the pick here. Actually, yeah. Yeah, because I have stone skin. So his armands isn't going to do anything. Yeah, my nukers instantly, they both like instantly win the fight. GG. Wow, that did no damage. Okay. <laughs> Good. I thought that through. I was going to just react ban the arm mounds. He didn't do anything. He wasn't going to do anything in that fight. The meta is so obnoxious right now, dude. I can't stand it. We got to adapt. We got to find ways to beat it uh i think my valk is built too as well i could use her to start cutting in thrala she can resist armands usually cora and siffy okay Excuse me. Okay. Could ban him or ban her. That's just as risky unless I'm banning this guy. What am I banning? Probably this guy. Or I could try to make the team really squishy. She's probably in stone skin. She's probably fast. I could make the team really squishy, ban her, and then just pick them apart and probably win that way. We're all five in stone skin. He's banning my... This actually gives the block debuffs. Okay. So my Mithral, I can pick through their team. The Hex is going to wreak havoc. Some people still do the A2, even though I have four pieces of stone skin. <laughs> Okay. Really? Really? Huh. 
Oh boy. Okay, petrify, that's good. Gonna block my revive, I guess. Oh, just kidding. Get him, sheep. Go ahead and get petrified. Pop out. Probably shouldn't have done that. Shoot, I didn't think about it. I forgot he was gonna get revived. Lost. Oh my gosh, dude. The frick? <laughs> what? So, Ben Siffy. My stone skin on Rodos got removed. But he got a turn. No, he got he got a turn and didn't one shot the dude because of strength. Then I guess <sighs> I could have gone for Armons instead. I gotta start, dude, I'm like, it's because I do literally only have like 20 minutes left, but I really am just not thinking things through. I deserve these losses. It's so, it is, it is, it's more frustrating than normal. And I, I'm more frustrated by losing like this than into RNG. Like, just thinking of how I could have just done better, like every fight that I've lost. And I, and I literally had time to think in all of them still. It's so frustrating. Okay. Actually, I kind of like him into Pythion if we get a... You know what? I might just pick him anyway. Shoot. Let's try it. Let's switch it up. I actually don't think it's bad. He can turn this Strengthen into Weaken. Uh, he can steal all the buffs without being resistible. And he can punch through uh, Stone Scan as well. I don't know what this is here. This team's really slow. I might actually go Arbiter. Like this. No. That's better. Because of this guy. Isn't it interesting how this guy probably gets banned more than this guy? I should go first. Even if he were to go first, he doesn't have a turn booster or anything. Okay. So he's still stunned. I need, I do need to uh I do need to um I need to kill this guy first. Okay. It's all right to get a couple losses because I'm like stressed for time. I like I'm taking care of real life things <laughs> and working a lot for the first time in a long time, which is good though because I've so. Death, I'm so grateful for all the extra money and definitely needed the work. Okay, Siffy first pick. You know what I like to do against that? UDK and like a... Let's do that, yeah, let's do that. Harima and Wukong, okay, so that's a pretty ideal band there. Halo's actually pretty good into that as well. Doesn't ignore defense, doesn't need to. I'm sure he can one-shot her. 
as long as we get enough control to like go first it's gonna just ban that right so that's not that good okay so wukong it is then still not that bad into him anyway like obviously isn't gonna one shot the whole team but he can usually kill her plus wukong with udk is really annoying can constantly pop back up <clears throat> warlord and armands okay Hmm. Interesting. Oh, shoot, shoot. I need another nuker. <laughs> All right, so we don't have full stone skin. We have mostly stone skin, though. I think I'm gonna need to ban the Warlord. How do I win from there if I do that? Honestly, I could just ban the Siffy. I think that's my best bet. Then he has no revives. I guess he has Wukong. I think, I, I actually did run the timer out for once that time, but I think that's the play. He has no revives. So, he also has no turn reader fill. We kill Armands, he's done. Can easily kill him with A1s. Not only do we have a reviver, but we have Wukong and UDK. I think this is good. Don't know about that one. Hmm. Okay. Probably lost. Oh, just kidding. What would I need to do to beat this stuff, man? People picking lockout plus Armands. It's pretty rough. No increased attack. Nice. All right. I lost, right? I banned Siffy. Should I have just banned Armands and just play through the lockout? Okay. Need that, maybe need that. Now we have chances to sheep, three chances to sheep. Also, he's probably getting locked out before anything, yeah. Yeah, nice dude.
till they can't hit her anymore. That was not the revive to use, I'll tell you right now. GG. I revive Arbiter. So confused. Really? Really? Okay. That's definitely frustrating, but it happens, I suppose. It happens. Not only did he not wake it, but he got like whatever the 50% stun is or whatever. Oh yeah, I also rebuilt her. Well, we've already been losing a ton. Let's just give some stuff a try. Might as well try some new stuff out now. I've never lost five in one session, and, and like I think four of them were 100% winnable. I mean, really, all five. It's okay, don't let the frustration get you, guys, it's just a game, you know, especially if you stay level-headed and are trying to learn from your mistakes, you can hopefully improve. I know, I know, though, I know, the Armands everywhere, all the time, speed teams where you just, if they have the right champions and they go first, you just literally don't, you, you don't just literally instantly lose, you also don't get a turn. I understand, it, it's just, it's something that, like, I think almost everyone in the game wishes was not in the game and so you may be like really confused how player i'm like let this be or why things are so bad and remaining that way but it's just important to not let that frustration like overwhelm you because it's just a game you know and hopefully metas will change i don't know if we really should hold out much hope with you know plarium but hopefully metas will change and it's just a game Try to have fun any way you can. Maybe take a break from Live Arena. Take a break from Arena in general. Do something different. Focus on some Chris City stuff or whatever. But uh, I definitely feel for anyone who's like really frustrated by this. I've, I've heard a lot of people expressing their frustrations. People that play Live Arena a lot. People that play Live Arena a little. You know, any amount in between. I've heard a lot of people expressing that really, they really, really, really just don't like where the game is right now. So I definitely get it. Trying some new stuff out. I'm bringing her for the increased defense for Harima. I guess I'll ban the Yumiko. <laughs> So she has like 100,000 HP and like 650 resistance and I don't know, like 2,500 defense or 3,000 defense or something like that. It's 
see if that's enough to resist the stuns. Now she has 730 resistance with this aura. I think one thing you guys got to be pushing towards, though, is do your best in the Hydra Clash. I know sometimes you literally can't win. Uh, do your best to try to help your clan get motivated to do Hydra Clash so you can get those accessories. You really need to get Stone Skin on your Nukers. And one turn Stone Skin, I know that's not a great meta that we all want either, probably, but it, it really does help so much to level out the Armand's meta from being like a 70-30 to like 50-50. And, I mean, you can even get better than that. I mean, there were days and runs where I've done even better than that, for sure. Oh, she just survived everything without stone skin. Pretty, pretty interesting. All the nukers. Is she in reaction or something? She survived all three. Lowering his defense is a good idea, and if it doesn't kill him... I don't know what this guy does, so I'm not certain that I'm going to win or anything. 34,000 heal. Pretty nice. Oh, he stole buffs. Neat. Steal him back. Okay. Is that the last one? No, we have one more. Hopefully we can end with a 50-50. Well, I'm not really going to be too upset if, if I don't. You know, things have been really good in life lately, and try to remember and just pull your head out of the game. And I guess if you're, you know, things have been frustrating or difficult lately, always feel free to leave me a comment or reach out. But I get it. No. It's just going to be one frustration piling on others. I've been there, man. I've been there. I right, siffy. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. EDK Harima. Such a strong combo. Good against Siffy, good against Rodos. Okay, so we have one Nuker, one support uh, spot open, and like a flex. Taras and Wukong. Okay, so he's really not put himself in a good spot versus this team. I'd like to ban him, but he's probably going to pick Arman, so I probably can't. No, it could be here as a last pick, like Alil. Okay. Definitely want to put the pressure on the ban slot, so I'm going to go him over Yumiko. Really want to get these two champions. Okay, so this has been happening a lot today. I still really, I mean. Feeling pretty good about this versus that. Another great pick here would be Rodos. So I think I have to, unfortunately, right? Uh, let me think. Yeah, because I can't like win fast enough where he's not gonna control me. Okay. The defense for Harima. Yes. Do that. That's like the fourth fight today where they picked Lockout plus Armands. I mean, I have them both, but I don't pick them a lot because I don't have a Reviver like her. Or it'd be good with like Harima or something. Okay. See how many buffs he gets to strip. We also are in a ton of sheep. Okay. Wow. Well, I guess I lost.
Yeah, you could have slapped someone too. So it just has a one. Freaking A, dude. Does he have his back? I mean, he just kills me, right? Decrease cooldown. Oh, the other skill, okay. Nice. Nice. Oh, GG. Oh, wait, what? Do I have to go for this kill? No, right? Oh. Wait, what? Relentless or something? Wow. Yeah, I think that's like the fifth fight out of... Yeah. Yeah, six, four, and six. Well, that's definitely defeating. I think I will upload this. I think mostly because I don't think it's like the best for entertainment or anything. And I don't think it's like instructive to watch what I've been doing and like learn from it. But I think, I think mostly because I feel like a lot of people will relate to this. We're in a situation where like you go second, you lose. And even even though I have lockout and armons, I don't. I don't know. I just don't think they work, like picking them both on my account in most fights. And so I, I think I'm gonna leave that video, leave it kind of as is. I really would like this discussion to. To like be brought up on what to do. I did get some new accessories. Let's check these real quick together, guys. From Hydra. So I got a Night Revenant that doesn't help. Got a Barbarian. That could go on Armands. It's even got actual accuracy, actually. Oh, well, that's definitely very good. Undead. It's a necklace. Oh, it's protection, though. Okay, so I'm watcher protection. Skinwalker protection, despawn attack banner for despawn. I just had an idea that I'm going to try to have ready for next video. Oh, it's going to be a spicy one. I don't even know if I have her out of the vault. Could it, could it work? Where is she? There she is. No, I can't really pick them together. I was thinking, I 
That's not really going to be an answer, is it? What about... What about stone skin plus protection? So it's like a chance that for a protected stone skin. <laughs> or something. Or, 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 or like nukers that can kind of like insta win the fight, like, like Nishak, Wukong, Rodos, and in stone skin, like pick three of them or something, put them all in stone skin, pick three of them. One of them is probably not going to get their stone skin stripped. One of them will probably get their ability off. Mmm. Something like that. And we also could just rely on banning our mounds more. And the enemy gets to four whatever they want. One of the scary things is that when that is a lockout as well, there's not a lot of answers to that. I actually don't have Ankara and Narcis. I was kind of... I don't know. That was like right before I started to get back into the game big time. And I just wasn't really playing much. I could do... Uh, we, could, we could all run Resistance Kaimar. I could even do a Resistance Yumiko. Could even do Resistance Yumiko. Right, because she does... Yeah. It's it's already pretty high, but I, I put it like, what, like 700? Give my best speed gear over to Armand's. I know I have, you can do Resistance Kaimar too. Kaimar's probably better, unless Yumiko's actually still putting people's skills on cooldown, which she probably will be. The meta is so different. We really need to take a step back. There are answers. People are just thinking, a lot of people are, are, are remarking, a lot of people are saying that there's just not answers. You just ban Armands or you go first. But th there are things we can do. There definitely are. I mean, for... for as, as weird as it is, we could even build champions in resistance, like nukers or... What would be the best champion that could still do damage that's like a resistance build? Like a Geomancer or something? <laughs> something that's like reflecting. Like we, we can't just let this just run over and make everyone... Like we can't rely on Plurium to fix it. They're probably not going to fix it. We've got to think of something, guys. We've got to think of something. We can't just roll over and accept that this is how it is and let it be ruined. There's a million things you can do in this game. There's so much stuff that we can... If we're creative, we can come up with. We can find out answers to this Armand's meta. We can find out answers. I mean, one thing is, yeah, like I said, if, if you're going to rely on letting him through, you can plan around doing that. And so then what would you do? You would, you know, run a good bit of Polymorph if he, in case he's trying to strip your buffs. Um, you would run Nukers that can kind of blitz through the fight really quickly. Stone skin, obviously. I wonder if I could really force this guy into stone skin. What do you need? You need... I guess I could put him in stone skin and not in other stuff. Like, I don't need to put him in stone skin accessories. I feel like he is in a... Actually, like, genuinely in a, like, an unironic good spot. Like, I guess what we could do is we could do stone skin plus... Merciless. And Merciless could be in the accessory slot. I didn't think about that. Did we ever think about that, guys? No, you can't do six-piece. Ugh. Darn it. Literally just put your regular nukers in regular stone skin. Don't even need the accessory. Because people are running such squishy... Guys, no, seriously, thought experiment here, right? People are running such squishy teams. Like, genuinely, very frequently. I think what we all could do is have, like, a secondary... 
or maybe even you know now with how popular this stuff is people running like arbiter armands warlord like there's no tankiness right and so it, it could be ancillary or a secondary thing or it could even be a primary thing that we're going to build just champions in in like more stone skin and if you don't have the accessories from hydra literally just take them out of cruel like, the, I guess the problem can arise is if their reviver is like a Siffy or something tanky that they're also using the turn meter fill. But even then, their Siffy is probably fast and not that tanky. Guys, like, I think I think if we really think about this at, at large, there are answers here. Like, there are definitely... Also, wait, how much Merciless do I have for this guy? Can I build a full set of... It's a lot less crit damage, but, I mean, if we, like... I can get a six piece merciless. Actually, I mean, yeah, I could literally just put him in six piece merciless. <clears throat> Interesting. But like literally just build like secondary or even primary now nukers just in stone skin. What are some good ones to do that with, right? Obviously, Rodos and, and Wukong. I think we all almost all have Wukong. What about Rhonda and Stone Skin? That's another champion a lot of people have. Where is she? Because my problem with picking her right now is she's just not. She's just not getting a turn. She's not getting a turn. Can even move my torment into stone skin. Hmm. I didn't even bring him out in today's video. What about like a gigafast resisting? <laughs> So stupid. Yeah, like a resist Kaimar could be good, although I'm using him for Sand Devil right now. So he does need accuracy. Honestly, I honestly think like a nuke Lix could be really good. Oh, I actually have her built. And I didn't even use her today. Like this is not much crit damage. I don't I really don't know if you need more. Again, these champions, te these teams are so squishy. You might even want to do two turn stone skin as well. Hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna theorycraft some more things and bring them out in the next video. But yeah, the present the prevalence of Armin and speed teams is just absurd. Belk is uh set up decently here. Protection set. It's not that good into Narcis though. Yeah, if we can start letting him through and banning another key champion, if we're prepared, we could have some really, really good setups. Really, really good. Maybe I need to get my Duchess to just, just like focus on resistance over anything else. It's annoying, but I probably need to, right? Is she in a resistance chest? She probably needs to be in a resistance chest. And just pump that up. Pump that up. And he's gonna need to get I need to get him more resistant, just totally forfeit his other stats. I need to look at building my Yumiko even better as well. 
I think I think one thing too is that like she is good into armaments too. She can just like cut in, go first, and turn his skills off. I don't know if I really want her in polymorph anymore though. I want her back in temp chains. I did switch this. Something like Valkyrie and, and her though, or like temp chains, even Valk in temp chains could be really annoying for enemies to just cutting in, screwing up their nukers. Hmm. This has been a very interesting, just like theory crafting session. I think there's definitely some stuff we can come up with, guys. Literally just take your nukers out of cruel. <laughs> Savage, <laughs> savage and cruel, and and just put them in stone skin. Some nukers will be fine, like. I don't, I don't know. This video has been an interesting one, very different. I I definitely wish I could have done better, but you know, we're, we're gonna learn, we're gonna grow, and we'll come back stronger. Thank you guys for watching. God bless, guys. God loves y'all. Take care. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed and will continue to follow along, join the community, subscribe, and, and be part of the future videos. I just wanted to quickly share uh, where I find content, where I find joy, where I find hope in these crazy times we live in. So much going on in the world, so much bad news, and so many just things to bring you down. And I just wanted to share that I'm a Christian, and I fully believe as silly as it may sound to some people that there is a God that made us all with purpose. And although we all chose to go our own way, myself included, and, and, and to just reject this God, reject this creator, that that broke his heart, that he didn't want us to be separated. And then he sent Jesus to die for our sins and to make us new, to make a way for us to be reconciled as a payment for our sin as a payment for the punishment that we deserve that jesus died and now we can be reconciled to god and not only can we be made right with god and have the promise of heaven but this this life is also filled with purpose as we're able to know him and find joy and contentment through the through the relationship with god that we can invite others and we can make a lasting eternal impact on others by sharing this truth and inviting them to know him and i would just love to tell you guys more if you have any questions but i just want you to know that god loves you whoever you are whatever you've done nothing has disqualified you from his love that he genuinely cares for you more than you would ever know and i've experienced that love and it is just it's it's done so much for me in my life and i want that to happen for you guys so uh thank you guys so much let me know if you have any questions i hope you guys are here and going to join the community no matter what you think or who you are or what you believe guys god loves you i love you god bless guys